When you think of Poppy, you think of a cute yet unsettling bleach blonde girl talking softly in a white room, right? <laughs> Although Poppy was always seen as somewhat creepy, her brand was usually associated with innocence and a Japanese kawaii aesthetic. So, what happened? To answer that, we have to step back and examine her career. Poppy began her mainstream music career with the pop-friendly single Low Life from her EP Bubble Bath under Island Records. Island Records wanted her to be a relatable and marketable cookie-cutter pop star. Thank you so much, Charlotte. I'm so happy to be here. Is everything okay? Absolutely. I'm happy and my life is wonderful. This tied in with Poppy's satirical, brainwashed pop star vision. I love my fans, my record label, my handler and God. Poppy, please come back. I'm so happy to be here. What has happened to Poppy? But Island Records wanted a real puppet. They didn't understand why she was making strange YouTube videos and hated them. The devil. The devil. The devil. The devil. The devil. They demanded her to stop making them, but Poppy refused. It was then that Poppy realised she was in a horrible record deal. Shortly after, Poppy's YouTube videos became viral and she became an internet sensation. Poppy, I'm Poppy, I am Poppy, I'm Poppy, I'm Poppy, I'm Poppy, I'm Poppy, I'm Poppy. How did this whole thing start? Like what made you, you know, want to start making videos uh, and music um, and, you know, put this out into the world? Um, me and Titanic Sinclair just really thought that, you know, it was our calling. So we decided to start uploading videos together. And the first one is Poppy Eats Cotton Candy. And it got a lot of views on it. But the one that has the most views is the one where I introduce myself a bunch of times. Yes, like a million times. Mm -hmm. How long is that video? Mm, it's over 10 minutes long. <laughs> it's genius. It's amazing. Her videos made her song Low Life a hit, and the music video's views increased dramatically. Luckily, by this time, her contract with Island Records had dissolved, and she was under her self-made label. In late 2017, Poppy released her debut album her YouTube videos had been leading up to, Poppy.Computer. Although she had control of her image, she wanted to maintain the composed look and sound she was known for. The unsettling YouTube videos she and director Titanic made prior to the album's release were promotion for the album. I'm going to tell you this happy news. Poppy. Oh no, Charlotte. Why are you here? Don't touch me like this. They told you not to do this. I don't like this. The narrative for the videos was that Titanic was her evil handler and she was the naive girl. Everyone knows what you are really up to. Even Poppy. You're not even supposed to be here. The clock is ticking. Titanic. What's going on here? Stay out of this. This is between me and Charlotte. Go on. It is only a matter of time until she finds out. After that era, Poppy signed to Diplo's label, Mad Decent, and released her second album, Am I a Girl? Around this time, we saw the first glimpse of Poppy's authentic image and sound, which were drastically different from the Poppy persona everyone was used to. She ditched the pastel colours and cutesy wardrobe and wore dark attire. Her album also included two songs that strayed away from pop and more into metal rock. Poppy claimed numerous times that her favourite track from the album was X, the song with the heaviest metal rock elements. X was chosen as a single and both the song and music video shocked everyone. It fused Poppy's innocent vocals and visuals with a new metal sound and look. The video had Poppy drenched in blood while singing lyrics like Give me, 
she quickly started to distance herself from the old Poppy image. And although she was making stuff she liked, this too was a bad record deal, and she decided to leave. Poppy continued to evolve by pursuing her new sound and image. Hi, uh, I just have a question. Will you ever revisit your old style of music? I don't think so. I like to leave the past in the past. I think my new music that I'm making now is more exciting. What do you like better, the old stuff or the new stuff? Stuff better. All right, cool. Thank you. Right on. After Am I a Girl, she confirmed her bubblegum pop days were over by releasing another metal song titled Scary Mask and signing to metal label Sumerian Records. Poppy continued to release progressive metal songs with music videos that differed from her old stuff. Uh, how's life been since you released Am I a Girl? Well, I made a new album since then and it's even heavier than my last. It was mainly pop, the last one, but this one is a whole new vibration. Is this the metal era of Poppy then? Some are calling it metal, but I'm calling it post-genre. Post-genre is good. So like, have you entered like a different mindset to get like that gnarly sound? Well, the funny thing that happened was um, making Am I a Girl on my way to the studio. I was listening to a lot of heavier music like Nine Inch Nails and Rob Zombie and we thought it would be a good idea to make a song like that. Her song Concrete includes lyrics of her wanting to be buried in concrete. Yes, you heard that right. Another song of hers, Blood Money, seems to question religion hypocrisy. Her new image is much darker and shows us her true artistry, the real Poppy. I disagree feels like it has a concept. What is your overall message behind this album? Disagreeing with authority and also not being afraid of burning things down and starting over. What do you mean by burning things down? Um, out with the old and in with the new. And not letting the fear of uncertainty stop you from going forward. You seem to be spreading the message a lot that you can be you and you can be authentic. Is that another thing you're really trying to convey? Yeah, I think it's very free. And you have a very eccentric artistic component to everything. Your, your music videos, there's a lot going on. How important is the image to your art overall? I think it's very important because we have two eyes and two ears. But who is the real Poppy, you may ask? Many speculated that Poppy was simply an actress being told what to do by her director. Basically, a puppet. Ooh, so who are you friend? What's going on? That's who? Titanic Sinclair. Hi. Titanic Sinclair? What's up, Titanic Sinclair? No. Uh, what, what's going on? What's the deal here? What's, what's that? I'm just making sure she doesn't malfunction. She doesn't malfunction? Mm. What you mean? Um, I'm like a technician, and so I make things, uh, make sure things run smoothly. What, so for like a probation officer? <laughs> <laughs> well, Titanic, for people that don't know about Poppy yet, can you explain like who Poppy is? Oh, he's not yeah. really. <laughs> you can't explain it? <laughs> Um, we just uh, make videos and music together, and um, people watch them. And she loves Rolos, I can see. Mm, okay. Candy and snacks are, are tasty. <laughs> but in contrary, she claims that the Poppy Project was an equal 50-50 effort between her and her director, and that she was in control and had input the whole time. So what the fuck happened to Poppy? Simple. She adapted to Hollywood and evolved as an artist. She chose to be happy with her music and image by heading in a new direction. So how excited are you to get this out? Very excited. It feels like my first album. 
though it's my third, it feels like the first. <laughs> so there, your work in the past has been more pop oriented, but on this album you can hear pop, hip hop, but also new metal and even like a little bit of thrash. So what inspired this transition from pop to heavy? Because this whole album is heavy, even the more poppy parts are. Um, it's all of the music that I've always loved and that my collaborative partners have always loved and we put it all together in a 10 track album. Her new album, I Disagree, will be released in January 2020. So make sure you give it a listen. So which poppy do you like better? Let us know in a comment below.